Expensive models can reach upwards of 15,000. Every last detail, from the texture of the skin to the hair on the doll's head, is handcrafted. These dolls are often collector's items, but they're also used in medical settings, like midwifery training and therapy. So what makes these baby dolls so lifelike? And why are they so expensive? In Catalonia, Spain, Cristina Iglesias and a small team of artisans at Babyclon are making some of the world's most realistic and expensive baby dolls. This lady will leave you in awe at her artistic skills in making hyper-realistic dolls and also fantasy dolls. This is where they're starting to use artificial intelligence to put inside the dolls. Cristina drew on her nearly two decades of experience creating hyper-realistic effects for zombie and fantasy movies to found Babyclon a decade ago. Also known as reborn dolls, these dolls have an eerily lifelike quality that allows the company to sell them for top dollar. The basic model for Babyclon's most popular line, Newborns, starts at just under 2,000 euros and adding more features can increase the price significantly. Reborn dolls and silicon dolls are eventually going to look so realistic. They're going to have hyper-realistic eyes, animatronics that can make it breathe, and even have realistic mouth movement. They probably will cost up to 15,000 or even more if you want to have a lifelike skeleton put inside as well that you can feel bones through there. That would just be so amazing. These guys are doing a wonderful job. But Babyclon doesn't just work on human baby dolls. They also sell infant versions of beloved characters like E.T. or the Na'vi from Avatar. Creating these lifelike dolls is a four month long process and it all starts with sculpting the prototype. This prototype will be used to create a mold for the final silicon doll. Standard models already have molds that are reused, but any dolls with customizations need to be designed from the ground up. Today, the Babyclon team is sculpting its ET doll. When finished, it'll sell for 1,650 euros. Like most of their dolls, this one is being sculpted out of plasticine clay. Craftspeople perfect the folds on the skin and even the skin's texture. These details are directly transferred onto the mold, so it's imperative that every last square millimeter is hyper-detailed. That's why this step requires the most skill. Without extreme attention to realism here, the subsequent mold is useless. In the process of making the mold, the sculpture is destroyed. That's why it's important Eugenie works carefully, as any mistake in the mold means the sculpture will have to be redone. I think anybody watching this will really appreciate how much effort, time and precision goes into making a silicon baby. And that is the reason why they are so expensive. One of the main reasons for Babyclon dolls' high price point is the silicon they're made from. It's medical grade platinum silicon, which is often used in implants and prosthetics. According to Christina, this silicon provides the most durability and realism possible. That's why the company is willing to spend 300 euros on silicon alone for each baby. In fact, the cost of materials can reach 450 euros per doll. Eugenie uses a special formulation for the silicon mixture to achieve the most realistic looking skin, weight and texture. This extreme attention to detail accounts for up to 80% of the value of the dolls Babyclon sells. Over half of the product's price is attributed to the cost of labor alone. Once the injection is complete, Eugenie lets the silicon dry for 24 hours. He carefully opens the mold to reveal the doll inside.
but the molds don't include all the parts of the doll, like the hands or feet. Those are assembled together, here. Joining the body and limbs of the dolls is the most challenging part of the process. So the artists go to great work to provide you a doll that is seamless. Um, it cannot be sanded, it cannot be really cut that much. So they have to cut a little bit off as much as they can, but you'll still see a seam. So then they need to repair it with a thickened silicon over the top. And then they try and blend it in so that there are no seams at all. And it's a very complicated process. It takes a lot of time. Artisans carefully remove excess silicon making sure not to cut too deeply and damage the doll's skin. The realism of the doll's physical structure hinges on how seamless they can make the joints look. Once this is accomplished, the doll is ready to come to life in the painting and hair department. Here, craftspeople meticulously work on the cosmetic details, from the texture of the skin to the shine of the nails and the colour variation in the mouth. Various changes in complexion and veining on the body are all painted on. Eh, el cabello, por ejemplo, pues dependiendo del estilo de cabello que vaya a tener y la edad del bebé, utilizamos unos cabellos u otros cabellos. Normalmente son cabellos de moir, que es un cabello bastante fino y simula bastante bien lo que es el pelo de un bebé, pero cuando son cabellos muy, muy extremadamente finos, como el vello, ¿no? como esos bebés que solo tienen vello, o para las cejas, utilizamos pelo de alpaca, que es, son unos animalitos muy guays. Each strand of hair is individually inserted into the doll's head until artisans achieve the desired look. Many of Baby Clon's clients, as with other reborn dolls, are collectors and enthusiasts. However, these hyper-realistic dolls are also used in other settings, such as therapy for grieving parents and medical training, like that provided by Michelle Beacock. The examination that I teach is a speciality midwifery exam, which all students now have to do. If, as a midwife, we need to learn how to do a neonatal examination, I feel that we need to do it on a really realistic baby, because it's a really, really important thing that we're looking at this baby and trying to confirm normality or not. So if you're learning normal, on a baby doll that doesn't look normal. How are you ever going to know normal? I think it's really, really important that we have dolls like this so that, you know, it's, it's nearly as good as that real life baby in front of you. Michelle worked closely with Baby Clon to design male and female dolls that are as anatomically accurate as possible, including clavicles and pelvic bones. They're called Olivia and John because they, um, they arrived on the day that Olivia Newton-John died, and I think our technician was a fan. Though Olivia and John cost around 11,000 euros together, these dolls offer the most realistic experience Michelle could find on the market. And even on this, you can see how hard it is to, to do the hip exam, as opposed to that, that's just a lot more realistic. Students training on a stiffer, less accurate doll won't know exactly what to look for until they do their first examination on a real baby. That's a huge chance to take when teaching midwives. And it's a gamble every time because you're lovely, but, but no. The more realistic the doll, the more prepared the midwives will be to thoroughly assess the health of the baby. So basically all babies have um, what we call suture lines and fontanelles, little gaps in the scalp basically. You can feel there, and you can feel the suture lines there. And there's a bigger fontanelle at the front that doesn't normally close till about 18 months. The students need to be used to feeling that fontanelle. If that was smaller or fused or closed, it could indicate that there's a problem with, with the brain not being able to grow because of the... Also offers animatronic dolls priced at just under 5,000 euros. These dolls can mimic breathing, suckling, and eye movements. And for an extra few hundred euros, buyers can also add a drink and wet system or eat and poo, just as a real baby would. Breathing, suckling, and eye movements. Okay, we know there are drink and wet systems already on the market. 
but eat and poo guys oh that is so realistic baby clon is even experimenting with ai saying it could foster a more realistic interaction between doll and human the future of silicon and reborn dolls is evolving so fast if they're going to head towards ai intelligence where the baby can interact with you that is going to be something else it's going to be amazing i'm looking forward to the future of silicon dolls and reborn dolls especially with the digital technology that is around as technology evolves so will lifelike dolls and the uses their customers dream up I just didn't think that I'd ever get a doll like this to teach with and I'm absolutely thrilled that we have. So if you think we've gone in my time of teaching from that to that, it's just the difference is incredible. So if this is the future of Reborns and Silicons, I can't wait for it. It's going to be so much fun.